wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. Now it's been a while and I know some of you have been waiting. Guess where we are? Look where we are, we're at Toby Carvery, the home of the roast. We haven't been here for a while. It's been a minute. Now, don't forget, we do our lives every Tuesdays and Fridays at 6.30 UK time. And if you wanna catch up and ask us any questions, then please do. Also, we have our new channel, MK Vacays, where, you know, we're, going, we're gonna go on holidays. And if you wanna catch up and see what we do on our holidays, then please, Sign up to MK Vacays. All right, let's go. So we're here, we've got the hand carved pork, you can have the tender roasted gammon, the glazed roast turkey, the slow roasted beef, or you've got the slow roasted lamb right there. We've got the stuffing, which is right there. You can have now a choice of your potatoes. You can have the roasted potatoes there or the ones with beef stripping if you prefer. But if you are veggie or not wanting the beef, you can have your uh, roasties, which are without beef dripping. They do have the mash if you want it as well as part of the potato range. They've also got the mac and cheese. You can have the root vegetables there, which is actually, uh, I think that's, is that carrots and potato, it looks like. Uh, they've got the cabbage, the carrots, the peas, the onions and gravy, and also you can have uh, the cauliflower cheese. We have the Dijon mustard, you can have white sauce, cranberry sauce and mint sauce if you want it. Now they've got their famous Toby uh, gravy, which is the regular meat gravy, but you can also have veg gravy if you want it. So they do have vegetable gravy here. What is so great about this place is it's, um, it's all, pretty much all you can eat. And we were just talking to the chef and he said everything is healthy because it's, a lot of it's steam. No salt added, no sugar, sugar or anything like that. So it's very, very healthy. Right, let me dive in. I'm not going to waste you guys' time because I'm going to chow down. Right, I'm starting now. So this is cauliflower cheese. Wow. 
Mm. Nice. It's quite soft, so of course it's been obviously because it's buffet food, it sits out, yeah. but the cheese is nice, it complements it. It's not very, very cheesy. So if you're not a big fan of cheese, that uh, is all right for you. Right, let me try. I put loads of veggie gravy on this. So this is peas and the um, cauliflower. Oh, sorry, the cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. You're getting tongue tied with the food. It's so good. That gravy, is, uh, the veggie gravy is quite, um, what's the word? Not thick, it's, it's quite, not runny as well, yeah. but it's just that perfect that consistency. Medium. And that goes so well with vegetables as well. Really, really nice. All right, let me do, I'm doing combos here because I've got so much to try. Yeah, there's right. too much to try. I've got onions now and a little bit of carrot. We're gonna give it a go. That just melts in your mouth. Delicious. <laughs> I mean, just look at the size. That's okay. Of <laughs> Thank you so much. And now the broccoli and brie parcel. Has Thank you just very been much. Delivered. Oh wow. I don't know how you're going to get through all of that. All right, it's a lot of food here. All right, okay. Let me uh, try this. So this is the root veg I'm going for down here. Let me get a bit of the uh, carrot. Do you know what? That's really nice. It's almost like a dauphinoise. Oh. But a very, very, very light, very light layer of um, milky cheese, if you look there. My, I can't see the layer of milky cheese. You probably yeah. can't see, it's very, very thin, yeah. but actually that's nice. It's, it's not too, it's not hard, it's not too soft. It's perfect consistency. I really want to take a look at your brie and broccoli parcel because it's massive. So let me just have a quick look. Look how large that is. That is crazy. I know, there's a lot of puff pastry on there. Right, a few more things to try. Let me try the mac and cheese. That is amazing. The mac and cheese here is amazing. I've got to, I'll go far to say, mac and cheese here is one of the best I've had, especially in this type of restaurant. Really good. All right, a couple more things. My roasty. No, I went, I've only gone for a couple of roasties. Yeah, you don't want to uh, fill up on them. I don't want to fill up on them. Oh, I've got that to go. So, okay, here we go. Mmm. Light, fluffy, delicious. They're really good roasties. Um, not not cr too crisp by that. Right, I'm just going to finish off as I'm spilling this everywhere. Yeah, he's spilling it everywhere. It's because my plate is so big. Right? Yeah, it's a so little full. bit of I'll take that in with a little bit of veg just to rescue it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That is delicious. That's the That's sign of really, happiness. Really good. This milk, for value for money, for quality, is absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna try the brie and broccoli from I was gonna take a picture of this. Oh yeah, let me take a picture of this first because we wanna get it because it just arrived with us, I was tasting and then we're gonna try. Okay. Right now, I've not had this in such a long time, so let's try. Listen to this crunch. I'm gonna go this way so you guys can see. Look at that. Can you see the brie and the broccoli in there? It's a lot, a lot of pastry here. That is a lot of pastry, look at that. So I don't normally order this, not because I don't like it, but because I, obviously you can have so much of the veg. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Mm. I've forgotten how, how good. good that is. It's so good. The, the pastry is so light and but flaky, but it goes so well with the brie and the broccoli. That brie and broccoli combo is phenomenal. Look how much food I've got. Wow. Look how much food I've got. <laughs> it's tremendous. Yeah. Uh, it? So I've got a lot to eat, guys, but it's well worth it. This is great. Okay. Kelly's turn. Thank you very much.
Okay, so I have gotten a few bits on my So I've gone for the Yorkshire pudding, I've gone for some crackling, some stuffing, and I like the crispy part of the stuffing. I can see all the crispy stuff. Yeah. Of course, I had to get loads of cranberry sauce because I love it. Um, I got some of the onion in the gravy. This is the beef dripping um, roast potatoes, and these are the normal roast potatoes because I want to try so um, beef what the different and normal. Yeah, I want to see what the difference is. Um, and then, of course, I got um, some mashed potato. I only drizzled a little bit of the veggie um, uh, gravy because I don't like, you know, soggy things. So. Um, let me try the normal. See now look, it's not as fluffy as I like it. You can see here that it's a little bit, can you see? See they're mine more fluffy, that's interesting. See, yeah, are see, these the beef ones? No, these are the non-beef oh, dripping ones, yeah. That's so, weird. Oh, um, nice. It's going to be a good taste in it. I have to obviously get the obligatory. Yeah. Uh, They are fluffy. Not as fluffy as I like them, but they are fluffy. I'm quite surprised because I was expecting them to just be a little bit waxy, but no. They're fluffy. Fluffy, oh. fluffy, fluffy. Okay, well, and they're going to try the beef one. Yeah, I want to see the difference. Right, again, you've got a similar inside there. These ones are a bit firmer. Ah, interesting. Not as fluffy as the normal ones, so these are a little bit firmer. But not waxing, but for me, longer in the oven, for sure. Okay, what, what about taste-wise? Is there a difference between the taste? I like the skins better on the beef dripping ones. Right. Then the skins are on there. You can tell a difference, but I prefer the insides of the normal one and the skins of the beef dripping ones. So, there you go. Right. Put your little combo there. Okay. Now you're going to try the meats now. Yeah. Right? So this one is the gammon. I love. Like, I'm not afraid of fat because like a lot of people are afraid of fat. But for me, there's a flavour in that. I really like it. I like the saltiness of it. That's good. Now I can't, I'm not going to be able to tell what everything is because. You've got a little buried yeah, here. Buried. Right, so this one's the pork, I think. Oh no, is that the lamb? No, this is the lamb. Oh, I forgot you ordered lamb. Yeah, and I was quite surprised because it's Saturday. Yeah, they don't really have lamb on yeah, Saturday. They, they have they, so... lamb on a Sunday. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, don't get me wrong, because I was thinking, ah, oh, they're not going to have lamb. Good? No. I like the fact that I've drizzled a little bit of gravy on there because I feel like meat for me needs a little bit of gravy but I don't like gravy over everything so no. now this is the beef this is the beef so of course you can have as much gravy as you like as well if you give one extra gravy so the beef and the lamb they're not like pull apart mm. you know like you get in a fancy restaurant or whatever, but it's got that giving it you know like the mm. meat should taste and that's exactly what you're getting with this. I love it. Um, I can't see the pork. I think, is this the pork? Mm, yes, I think this is the pork. Buried under. Yeah. Our mountain of food is the pork. Do you know what? Even though it's pork, and the gammon is pork, I feel the gammon's always more flavourful. Oh, that's interesting. And I don't know if it's because of the way it's cured or the way it's baked, but it's like, um, I feel like with gammon there's like a little bit more saltiness, a little bit more taste, a little bit more flavour. I love the pork, but my mum makes really good roast pork, so it's hard to beat her roast pork. Um, but overall, mm, good, right. Amazing. Amazing. Now, what are you going on for next? This right? is the onions. The thing is, it's been done in the gravy. Um, 
and it's like it's soft, it's melt in the mouth, it's really, really nice. Let me try. Now your famous stuffing, I'm gonna zoom into really, this. Really, really like stuffing. Yeah. yeah. And are you going for the crispy from, bits? Yeah, I feel like their stuffing is so good. Yeah, it is. I'd say carvery stuffing is something. It's sage and onion. Um, and I just, I really, I like the fact that you've got your soft bit here, but you've got your crusty bit here. And I feel like that should be the rule for all stuffing. So you have your crispy bit. Ah, so are you saying carvery is leading the way of how stuffing should be? Yeah, I feel like it should. Like sometimes you get like either it's too crispy or it's too soft. And most often it's too soft. Um, but I feel like if you've got a, a, um, a thing of the two, it's, it's nice. So yeah. Right. I don't put too much flavour on it because you know why? You don't want it soft. I do want it soft. There we are. There we are. Now, we haven't got much left to try. I think we've just got the mash. Got the mash. Yeah. What I like about the mash, it's soft and stuffy, but there's still little bits of lumps in there. So ah. it's not quite, you know, smooth and stuff like that. But I, I like it. I didn't get, I, funny enough, I didn't get the mash. Oh, you did no, 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 I did. Well, I've got so much other stuff. And mm. This is another thing with the Carberry. It's got, you've got so much choice. It's very so difficult to, to pinpoint exactly what you want. But you know what I ordered? What? <gasps> you did. I thought, well, try your, before you try these, let's try your. This is going to be too hard to try. Because, look, it's very, very tough. Okay. You want to so, take a little bite of it? I can take a bite of it, but it's going to be too tough at this point of the meal. Oh, I heard that crunch. Oh, that's a, can you hear that crunch? That is proper crunching. I like my crackling a little bit softer, but I like it. If you like hard, uh, the harder type of crackling, yeah. but I guess it's the crunch. You can you can really hear that crunch. Is it flavorful? No, it tastes like pork crackling. Okay. So. Mm. You have to remember, they don't add see, they don't add salt and pepper and things like that on it, like he was saying. So it's just a pure flavour of pork crackling. There's no added um, things on there. There's no added seasonings on there or anything like that. So just taste the pork crackling. Nice. Right well, then, you've got. Let's give that Yorkshire a little try. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Yorkshire. Can you see? I was going to go straight for my... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm eyeing up those pigs in blankets. I know you are, but that's next. I know. Now the Yorkshires here are ginormous, as you yeah. can see. Look at the size of that. I don't normally get a Yorkshire. Only because they're so big. But You're always guaranteed a big Yorkshire pudding yeah, here at Harvard. It's crisp. It's slightly softer than I would like. But, yeah. I like, I like a Yorkshire pudding. I do. I really, really do. It's just not as crisp as I like. It's slightly crisp, but not as crisp. Right. I think because it's been there for a little while, while I've been trying on a little bit. Now. This is it. This is the one Kelly's been waiting for. So the pigs in blankets. This is the one. So these are not part of the meal. You do, you've do. got these as a side order. Yeah, yeah, you have to pay extra for this. The same as the broccoli parcel. Yeah. It's extra. Okay, here we go. Good. At the moment, we put this in back here. It's like a Christmas dinner. Mmm. This is really like a Christmas dinner. It is a lot like a Christmas dinner. So if you've got, the, like I said, the pigs in blankets, you've got the roast meal, we are in heaven here with this. I'm going to try Mark's Poppy Parcel. Okay, so I've got the flaky part. I've got a little bit of the brie part here. So let's, oh, it's just all flaking away. I put a little bit on Kelly's plate. I know. Ooh, let's just grab that, grab a bit of that. That's a big mouthful, but still. Go for it. Here we go. Well done. Now we're going to let Kelly chew that a little bit. Because <laughs> that's quite a big mouthful. You can taste the broccoli. Yeah. And the brie is so light. Yeah. It just complements the dish. That flaky pastry is so good. So flaky. And soft at the same time. It's just 
wow, wow, wow. I really, really like that green broccoli parcel. I have just finished. I am so full. Believe it or not, guys, I finished all of that. Kelly is still working away. How are you feeling? I am full, but I just feel like I need to keep going. I'm not full full, to be fair. But you've I'm done well. Done. Yeah, I haven't done too bad. You've done well. There's still a bit to go. Right, we're going to finish this off and then we'll give our final thoughts. Mm. So we are full. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a pudding, but if you do fancy puddings, this is what they have on offer. The, uh, what was I going to say? The seasonal sponge, which is right down there. This time is strawberry jam, but I think we are full. We will definitely finish this up and give our final thoughts. So the bill has arrived for the drinks the uh, unlimited lemonade, the sparkling mineral water, our brie parcel, the mini pigs and blankets, and the Saturday carvery all comes to 33 pounds and two pennies. Absolutely fantastic value for money. I've got to really recommend this, but we will promise you give yourself final thoughts outside. So here we are guys, we are in the car. We're ready to uh, head off. So what did you think? I really enjoyed it. I thought that the food was good. I think that the price is good. Oh, yeah. Um, I think my favourites were the pigs in blanket. Mm -hmm. um, I did like the mash as well. Um, I like the meat. For me, it's trying to... So, when I, uh, I obviously ask... I say I obviously ask. I asked for the pork, gammon, beef and lamb. I was so surprised that they even had lamb. I was so shocked. Well, yeah, so oh my God. we are on a Saturday, so it normally is on a Sunday. So talk through the meats first, and what did you think of the meats you had? I really enjoyed the meats. Um, so like I said, I had pork, gammon, beef, and lamb. I'm not afraid of, do you know what I mean? There's, like A lot of people go, oh yeah, but the slices are so small and blah, blah, blah. Yes, the slices are very thin. However, you've got all the other stuff. So I don't really find it bad that the slices of meat are thin because there's so much of the other stuff to have. That's just my opinion. So if you are new to a Toby Carvery, uh, you can only go up for the meats once, but you can have the veg as many times as you like. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want a little bit more meat, you can actually go for the king size, which is an extra pound fifty, but you get two sausages in addition to that. You do. You get two sausages and you're meant to get more meat, but I just feel like sometimes they don't give you, do you know what I mean, like much more of meat. I, I, I feel like you could just have that and then maybe have a bowl of pigs in blankets which is what i do and then you'll have several pigs in blankets which is quite nice um i really enjoyed the pigs in blanket um i didn't get too much of the veg because they for me i didn't feel like the veg was appealing enough today really yeah i i mean i like uh, sweet corn but they didn't do any sweet corn today no so it is just to let you guys know it is seasonal veg so of course we're coming at the end of summer so now of course you've got you saw they we had the cabbage uh they have the usuals of course which yeah. is the uh the potatoes of course the roast potatoes the mashed potatoes the peas the carrots but they normally have seasonal veg yeah what, what and they didn't have any parsnips no but you wouldn't expect parsnips Ex this time right, right. It's seasonal that's what i'm saying i would have got like the parsnips and the sweet corn and sweet corn is all year round so but they didn't have any sweet corn now they did have peas and i do like peas but i like garden peas and i feel sure they're petit pois because they weren't garden peas so i opted out of the peas and I feel like carrots are very hit and miss, but you like all the veg. See, now, see, this is, I totally disagree with Kelly. All that veg was delicious. I really did like that root gratin. That root gratin was really, really nice. I did enjoy that, and I thought that was really good. Um, and also, as well, the, the uh, onions and gravy was yes, fantastic. Yes, yeah, I they did like the really onions and gravy, yeah. So what was your favourite bit of the whole meal? I think the pigs in blanket. 
I will oh, say yeah, the pigs in blanket. Now you had the brie and broccoli parcel. That was amazing. I haven't had that for a long time. Yeah. Guys, if you are vegetarian, of course, and if you don't mind brie and broccoli, uh, go for that. It's really good. The other thing is as well, it has mushrooms in it, which I forgot to mention. Mm. They're really good. Now, the other bit I wanted to point out was what we had a little chat with the chef because he said, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? We said, we're filming a few YouTube videos. And he said, well, we're really healthy here, really fresh. Most of our vegetables are actually steamed yeah. rather than boiled. So that's what gives them that real fresh flavour. And they don't add salt and pepper and any other sort of like um, uh, sort of additives to it. So it's pure, you know, in the oven, plus with the meats being cooked together and stuff like that, it sort of flavours everything in the oven. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't. I can't fault Toby Carvery. No. I really enjoy it now. And I know a lot of people go, oh yeah, you know, it's the, the meat is so thin, it's like neck curtains and blah blah blah. But I don't I don't find that but again, I suppose each Toby Carvery is different. Yeah. Um there are, there is another one not too far from us. Um but I don't like it as much as the other one. So I prefer the other one, um, which is the one that we're at now. But I, I feel like you can't really go wrong with the value for money, um, pound oh, for yeah, pound, yeah, 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 what yeah. you get. I mean, look at your plate was full. Now, all of that, now you saw as well. Now, we, we wouldn't normally get the brie parcel. We wouldn't normally get the accoutrements as well. So we just wanted to have a varied uh, uh we just wanted there. to show you, yeah. And all that was £33 for two. I thought that was fantastic value for money for all of that, plus the drinks as And I well. had unlimited lemonade. Yes, you did. Now, that does not include service charge, so mm. we did give a tip. Um, now, you'll notice we didn't have a pudding. Uh, I was so full at the end of the uh, meal. I really couldn't fit another thing in. Plus, they weren't serving ice cream, unfortunately, yes. just this occasion. Yeah, now, normally sometimes i say normally sometimes i do get the ice cream with the honeycomb pieces which is quite nice and then i ask for a little flake um however i i also wanted to have syrup sponge because they say seasonal sponge but every time i've been it's been jam sponge there's been nothing else but jam sponge and i'm like when are you going to do syrup sponge i want the syrup sponge and so i feel for their puddings they should bring back specific i i don't want to hear anything about seasonal sponge what i want to hear is oh we have a jam sponge we have a syrup sponge and we have a this sponge so then i can actually choose my syrup sponge well there you have it guys that's up for the syrup sponge uh anyway we hope you like that video um we just saw before i finish i do want to shout out to steph our server who was absolutely amazing she was wonderful so thank you steph Anyway, that's it from Mark and Kelly's trip tips and things for this video. Uh, if you like to add more, please do watch. We have more videos coming. Uh, and please like, share and subscribe. And we also have a secondary channel, MK Vacays, and that's dedicated to our holidays. So, you know, if you want to catch up with us and see what we do on our holidays on a day-to-day -day basis and things like that, please go over to MK Vacays. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. Until then, guys, look after yourselves, take care, and remember, remember you're never taught to have fun we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye for now